Hello, everybody. I tried to do a Facebook Live about the spirit messages I got for today, but it wasn't working, so I just decided just to do a video and post it. So I used the Soulful Woman deck again. As y'all can tell, it's a favorite deck of mine right now. And I drew actually today two cards, uh, one to be drawn today. And so interesting messages, actually beautiful messages. So the first message for you today is sanctuary. Look at that gorgeous picture, sanctuary. And it says, in my inner sanctuary, I connect to peace, inner quietude and comfort. And then the second card that I drew as part of this spirit reading today is surrendering. That's a great one. I honor the truth in surrender as it opens me to gifts of divine grace. So these two beautiful cards today have a really profound message for, for you. So we're going to go into the message right now. So let's start with sanctuary. So obviously these two beautiful words, sanctuary and surrender, are really one beautiful energy uh, of asking you right now to go inwards. So some of you who follow astrology know that Jupiter has just gone retrograde. It's moving what we consider backwards. And what that's doing is it's slowing things down for us to go inward and really look at our values and who we are and the core of who we are. And so if things seem to be moving slowly or you're feeling you want to go more inward, it's because of this energetic we're feeling from this planet. Jupiter is a, of course, huge planet, and it's a planet of joy. It's a planet of expansion. So this makes sense that this is the message coming through uh, from spirit for you today, because this is really about you going into the inner sanctuary of who you are, the inner, what I would say, your inner heart, your inner spirit, and then asking, where is it that I still have not surrendered to life? Where is it that I'm still fighting with life? Because interestingly, in, on the card surrender, it uses the word divine grace. And divine grace and grace is one of my words. It's one of my core values. And in order to surrender, we do have to call in grace. Because sometimes the only way we can really surrender to life as it is right now is to have grace come in and assist us. Because we, as our small little human ego selves, sometimes it's very hard to, just, to surrender to what is. Because maybe at this moment, what is, is not pleasant. Maybe what is right now is painful. Maybe what is right now is a challenge for you. Maybe what is right now just hurts or is very disturbing, or irritating, or frustrating. And in those moments, when we are resisting what is, when we're not allowing ourselves to surrender to what is in the moment, this is a perfect time to go inwards, to go into that inner sanctuary within yourself and call in grace. Ask grace to be here. Grace, I don't know how to surrender to what is right now because I don't like it. I just don't like what's going on right now. And it's really hard for me to just be okay with what is. So the suffering happens when we resist what is in the moment. That's suffering that we have created because of our choice to not to surrender to the isness of what is in the moment because it just is. It is what it is. And if we, can, if we can call in grace and ask grace to help us to deeply surrender to the moment, to what is going on in your life right now, it calms everything down. It brings your heart back into a centered place of groundedness. It brings you back to center. And you realize, okay, I don't have to like what's going on right now in my life. You don't. And you don't have to convince yourself that you need to like it. That's not the answer. The answer is to say, okay, this is happening right now. And honor how you're feeling about it. So maybe you are feeling frustrated. Maybe you are feeling angry. Give yourself permission to feel the feelings around what is right now. Let yourself have that. It's important not to lie to yourself and go, okay, I'm just going to pretend I like it, but I really don't. That is doing a huge injustice to yourself. 
and to everyone else. Instead, say, okay, this is going on. I really don't like it. This is how I feel about it and feel it. Actually feel it in your own being, in your body. And going inward into that sanctuary within yourself, you can dive into the feeling of whatever the situation is bringing up for you. Because when you honor and witness and feel the feeling of what's going on within you around the situation that's happening in your life, things actually begin to shift and change. And why not amplify that with grace by literally allowing yourself to say, okay, I surrender. I surrender divine. I surrender angels. I surrender whatever the divine being is that you believe in, or I surrender to the light, to source, I surrender. I call in grace. I call in grace in this moment to help me be okay with what is. I'm ready to be okay with what is. I don't have to like it. I can still feel all my feelings about it. And I can call in grace to just envelop me. So we're going to do that right now. So Bring into that sanctuary in your heart something right now that oh, it's just, wow, it's difficult. It's something you're resisting, something you really would rather it not be right now. Okay, that, that part that you're resisting, that thing in your life. And it could be anything. Okay, it could be your job, a relationship, uh, a particular person, uh, something within you, a money situation. I mean, Wow, there's many possibilities, but pick the one right now that's just up for you that you're really resisting and having a hard time with because that's the one where you need the most grace, right? So bring that into your heart. Whatever that person or situation is, just bring it into your heart, bring it into your awareness in the heart. And I want you to really feel what you feel about that situation. Just let yourself feel it. Acknowledge what you're feeling. Whatever it is, don't make any of the feelings or the emotions wrong. They're just feelings. They have a right to, to be there concerning the situation. So feel it. Notice where in your body. Do you feel it most in your heart? Do you feel the feelings in your head? Where do you feel the feeling? So just feel that. I want you to be with it for a moment. We like to bypass feelings, especially the ones we don't like. Feel the fear, feel the doubt, feel the anger, feel the resentment, feel whatever that is. Just feel it. And tell yourself, I give myself permission to feel and then fill in the blank. I give myself permission to feel anger. I give myself permission to feel sadness. I give myself permission to feel nervousness, anxiety, depression. Just give yourself permission to feel this. Let it be here. And the more you let it be here, the more it's going to shift because it needs your witnessing. It needs you to feel it. So keep feeling it. Noticing what's coming in. It might be more than one feeling. So let that be here. And then I want you to call in grace. Say, I invoke grace into this situation right now. I invoke grace into, and then describe what it is, into my relationship with, into my work situation, into my issues and struggles with my son or my daughter. I invoke grace to be here now, to surround me, to surround the situation, to surround this person and name the person. I invoke grace. Thank you, grace. Help me now to surrender to this situation. I have acknowledged my feelings and I surrender. I surrender now. Grace, be here. Assist me to surrender to the situation. I no longer want to fight it, argue with it, resist it, 
bang my head against a wall about it, run away from it, numb from it. Grace, I call you in now. I surrender. I don't know what to do with this. I know how I feel about it, and I'm feeling that right now. And I call in Grace. Grace, you perform the miracle. You help me find peace in my heart around the situation. Thank you, Grace. Thank you for helping me move back to center. Thank you for grounding me in this situation. Thank you for helping me remember who I really am. That nothing has power over me and I have power over nothing. I am a sovereign being. I am not above anyone and no one is above me. I am sovereign. Thank you, Grace. Thank you for being here. Thank you for performing your miracles. You have permission to come into this area of my life now and perform a miracle because I think I know, but I don't. I let go of my knowing. I really don't know. This is why I'm calling you, Grace. I'm calling you in to perform the miracle so that I might feel peace in my heart about the situation so that I might come back to center, so that I might feel the truth of my being and my light and not continue to give my power over to the situation any longer. Grace, I invoke you now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. So everyone take a deep breath. Just breathe in. Let this energy move. We've just called in a very powerful energetic. So I need you to sit here for a moment. Don't go immediately jump in your car. Just let grace do its work. Sit with this for the next three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. Drink some water. And just know. It is done. It is. It's done. Blessings, everyone. I hope that this gift assisted you today. And if it did, let me know. Because I would like to continue doing things like this if you feel it's supportive for you. So much love to all of you. Know that Grace is right here, right now for you. And you can use this tool anytime when you're struggling in any area of your life and you need grace. Anyone can call it in or just come back and watch this video and it walks you through the process. Much love. Mwah.